is my favorite cup in the entire world. <laughs> When you get pregnant, things just start changing. You get sweatier, your pH balance is off, your hair is growing faster. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kamaya Maxine. If you are new here, I am pregnant for the second time around. I already have a daughter who is now two years old and I gave birth during the pandemic, the like very beginning of it. I didn't really capture like all the things that I was using the first time around, but I really want to do it this time around. I'm in my third trimester as we speak. I will be 33 weeks on Thursday. Um, I'm filming this and it's June 22nd. So you can do the math. Maybe we're going to be giving birth around the same time. Make sure to comment if you are. But yeah, I'm just going to be sharing my favorites with you guys. Again, this is my second time around. And I know when you're pregnant, you want to be really sensitive and careful about products that you're using. And since I am a second time mom, I'm even going to share some of like the entertainment things that I have for my daughter to keep her busy for days where I just don't feel like really doing anything. So all of the above, hygiene, beauty, comfort, I'm going to share it all with you guys and have it all linked down below. I am going to be including timestamps here on the screen in case you want to go straight to hygiene, if you want to go straight to how to entertain your toddler when you're tired, or beauty or comfort, whatever it is that you just want to go straight to. Maybe you don't want to watch the entire thing, maybe you just don't have time for that, and that's fine. So I would include the timestamps here, and you guys are free to use them. And yeah, let's get into the rest of the video. Okay, so the first category I'm going to start with is comfort. And I'm going to be starting off with these shoes that I got off of Amazon. I'm sure everybody has seen these by now, but they are just incredible. They are so comfortable, and I feel like they actually look really stylish if you match them up with like the right purse and jewelry and stuff. And they were pretty cheap. I think they were $15. But yeah, I will link these down below. If your feet are swelling, if your like, foot is like grown a little bit because that actually happens during pregnancy if you did not know it, it does it happened to me <laughs> i think you should definitely think about getting these just to like slide on or walk around in the house with i wear them everywhere everywhere okay so i'll link these they're probably a little messy on camera but that's because i wear them all the time because they're favorite then the other pair of shoes I'm going to show you guys are these like knockoff Birkenstocks. You can see where my foot has been. Let's not show those for too long. Um, and I got those from Target. I had the real Birkenstocks. Those were uncomfortable to me. But these, they don't have that little arch right here. And the actual material of them just feels soft just even touching them. Like you don't have to break them in. Um, and they're really cheap. So I will link these for you guys too. Oh, I didn't think about that. Then I have the comfiest bra ever. And I can't show you guys because I have it on. But I got it from Walmart. Um, it's kind of like I think a t-shirt bra. It doesn't have any wires or anything like that. The actual material of it feels like you have on just a really cozy shirt. And it just feels good. Um, even though I like to walk around usually without a bra, <laughs> like I'm trying to be as close to naked as possible at this point. This bra, I do not mind when I have it on and it just makes things look cleaner and just, it's worth it. I think that was also $15. So far, everything that I've said has probably not been over $15. <laughs> Next on my list is swimsuits. So if you live anywhere where there's like a pool or a beach or anything like that, you're gonna wanna put on swimsuits and swimsuits already usually are a little bit uncomfortable in my opinion. So I'm gonna pop up two pictures here of the two swimsuits that I got from Amazon. Um, they are true to size. I got mediums in both of them. And I was really nervous because like you don't know how big someone else's bump is. You don't know how far along they were in the picture. Like are you too big? Are you wide in certain areas that they're not? But these two swimsuits that I've tried worked great. But yeah, those are the two swimsuits. Uh, they come in a whole bunch of different designs and colors so you don't have to get like the exact ones that are on the picture. And they're on Amazon and I believe they were prime because knowing me I probably ordered them last minute. <laughs> So I will link those for you guys too. Moving on from comfort, I'm going to talk about my beauty category. For me, I feel so beautiful when I smell good. <laughs> so two perfumes that are pregnancy safe and that like use clean ingredients and smell amazing would be, oh, I know I'm going to mispronounce these. I, I worked with this brand actually like some months, that was a year ago. Yeah, a year ago I worked with them. Um, Dossier, they have 
amazing perfumes you guys like I am going to order I think three I fell in love with three that I just like miss having in the house and I have a couple and they smell good but they're not like my oh my gosh I need this on every day <laughs> kind of perfumes so dossier they have really good perfumes they are clean this is what their perfumes look like um, and I did work with them so if you want to know the two scents that I fell in love with then go back to my dedicated video I had like a really big afro <laughs> and then you'll know um, the scents that I'm gonna be reordering myself and then with Dime Beauty they have like a package where you can buy four of the travel size or just like testers of the perfumes that they have and they have like seven summers uh lovely sweet dreams i should not know these off the top of my head <laughs> i think there's one that's like i love you so much i'll pop up the picture i liked all of them but my favorites were i believe um lovely sweet dreams and i want to say seven summers uh but either way like when i was trying them on i used every drop <laughs> of each of those perfumes and I love them like I cannot wait to reorder it's more expensive than a dossier which is around like I think like $30 35 25 30 like in that range but the um, dime beauty perfumes are like 48 but I use a discount code oh is it just going in and out I'm sorry hold on let me try to sorry I just noticed that it was getting like bright and dark and stuff hopefully it stops so um yeah those are the two perfumes that I would recommend that I have smelled that I have fell in love with and they last for a good amount of time and they're not like in the very expensive <laughs> range and they use clean ingredients so those are the two that I recommend if you just want to smell beautiful feel beautiful and not you know feel like you're using anything that may be dangerous to your new baby next in the same category of like ingredients that are being used and not wanting to use anything that's toxic or anything like that would be nail polish my nails are not done in this video i don't even want to i want this video to be a happy video so i'm not gonna go into it a lot but i lost my wedding ring um back in march i haven't found it yet and i have been avoiding my hands ever since like I've done my nails a few times, but it makes me really sad to look at my hand and not see my rings. So, my nails aren't done for this video, but I did do them in my baby moon video, and I showed like a couple clips of me <laughs> obsessed, <laughs> obsessed <laughs> with the the set that I did on my baby moon. Like I did tips, and then I used their brown. Oh, I actually have it. Hold on. I used the color C swing and sun I only use one coat and it just looked so natural you guys like I am big on just like not doing much <laughs> like and it just it looks so natural so pretty so clean like I just loved it so much and I feel like I had the perfect length like that is the best that I've ever done my nails period and it was the easiest polish to work with too and they use clean ingredients and they actually reached out to me and like had me try them out and i have let's see one two three four five i have five of their polishes <laughs> i just i really recommend like if you want to do your nails and still like keep that going while you're pregnant and you're kind of nervous about using nail polishes and don't know like what's in them I trust this brand I recommend this brand <laughs> if I didn't say the brand already it's nail reserve they used to be called nail addict and that's what is on like the nail polishes that I have but they have since rebranded but um yeah I <laughs> I recommend this brand very 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 much and I'm very happy that they sent me these so if you're watching this thank you next is actually a shocker for me I have started to wear blush y'all I don't know if you can tell in this video but I used to feel like blush made me look like a clown and lately I just feel like it makes me look alive and like flush <laughs> so I've been using the Fenty Beauty cream blush the color is summertime wine and I just I use this all the time I don't always do a full face of makeup every day but I will put on blush and like a little bit of concealer right here and some mascara not even do my brows <laughs> and I will feel like I'm just more alive and like you guys know if you're watching this you're probably pregnant you know sometimes you wake up you look at yourself and you're just like 
do I need more sleep? Do I need to change my skincare routine? Are those bags under my eyes? Like you need something to just make you feel like yourself again. And so like a little blush does it for me now <laughs> and like concealer and stuff. And I will link um, my concealer. I mix Fenty's concealer and foundation together when I put it under my eyes because it just matches my skin tone more. And I just dab it with my fingers, nothing fancy. So I will link that down below if you're interested because usually on Instagram if I get on and I've done like something really quick it's been using those so I'll link those too just in case you're interested. The next category probably has the most things that I have listed under one <laughs> and it makes sense I mean when you get pregnant things just start changing you get sweatier your pH balance is off your hair is growing faster your skin is dry like it's just I sound like I'm going on a rant. It's just things just change. And so like you need to have products <laughs> to really keep up with, you know, yourself and cleanliness and stuff. So let's get into this category. The first thing I have is the Honey Pot Wash. If you haven't heard of this brand, it is just amazing. I love it. I use their bath bombs. I use their washes. I use their uh, vaginal like cream. I use all of it all of it i use basically everything in their line i hope they find out about me somehow and like start sending me stuff because i love them but this one right here when i got pregnant first trimester my ph balance was just trash like i felt like if i put on the wrong pants i would be irritated down there so this right here in the second and third trimester has been a lifesaver it literally makes me feel so clean and fresh and if there is any kind of irritation I'll just go and just do like a quick little wash up and it will literally clear it up so if you're having any issues in your area you know um, for sure if it's taking a long time to clear up I would go see a doctor don't just rely on this wash but if it's something just mild or you know like discharge and which is normal during pregnancy or anything like that this this <laughs> cleanser is bomb and then uh oh, sorry i got to i got to move <sighs> my hip my hip okay <sighs> sorry i had to reposition myself cuz i was starting to be in pain one moment <laughs> next thing i don't have with me they are in the shower and i just it's the only thing that i think i didn't grab y'all my bad <laughs> but it's exfoliating gloves so I have been hip to exfoliating gloves probably for like the last year. It has replaced my loofah, it's replaced towels, and it's literally gloves that are like loofahs. And you can just scrub, wash, get in all the cracks and crevices easier. And I say that this is a pregnancy favorite because when you... <laughs> get to the point where like it's not easy to get to all the areas if you get what I'm saying like not at least with the pressure that you really want to these gloves are everything <laughs> because you're literally it's like putting on lotion basically except you're washing yourself and I just uh, I just love them so much along with the gloves my favorite cleanser is the Kapari coconut wash I got this off of Amazon there's just nothing that I've tried in any category clean with the chemicals or whatever that has made me feel this clean I've been a very sweaty pregnant woman so feeling clean <laughs> means a lot to me and this wash has really done that for me they also have a scrub that I use but this I just had to show the cleanser because it's like if you get anything just get this <laughs> it's literally almost empty I wish you guys could no it's not see-through oh it kind of it's not <laughs> I wish you guys could see like this thing is almost empty and this is probably like my third bottle that I've bought if you don't want to order it they do have some sometimes at um, Nordstrom rack because that's where I got this one for my birthday and I was so happy to see that they had more things because then I didn't have to wait for shipping so yeah that's my favorite wash and then of course after you wash you want to stay clean so deodorant my favorite deodorant is called Lumi deodorant and it says for underarms and private parts and it's a whole body deodorant I don't know why I hadn't even thought of like a, a full-blown body deodorant because you, you don't just sweat under your arms okay and if you think you do then you're wrong <laughs> but 
I have been using the Lumi. I use it under my arms. I use it in the crevices of the areas, front and back, and it is amazing. I've tried the warm vanilla sugar scent, and I've also tried jasmine rose. I feel like jasmine rose is just, it's amazing. It is a cream. I can show you guys the consistency of it. If you can kind of see, it's just like very creamy, like as if like it's a lotion, you know? It's so nice and it's very small too and you can just kind of like slide it into your purse and stuff or your diaper bag if you're a second time mom like me and I just love it. Like I, I absolutely love it. I've been having some issues with other deodorants that have like clean ingredients because they leave like my um, arms and stuff like it's making it darker and like nobody wants that. Like I want to be the same color if possible. Thank you. And I haven't had any issues with Lumi. So right now I'm just trying to correct that. Go back. I, I was only using this in my areas. And then I forgot that like I can use this under my arms too. And like get my color back. So yes, definitely recommend this. And they do have a whole bunch of other scents. If you're like not into like the Jasmine Rose scent. So yeah. Next with like odors and scents and sweating. I use witch hazel <laughs> um i have been using witch hazel in my skincare routine for a very long time and <laughs> clearly you can see this is a new bottle because i really go through them i use this literally after i get out the shower after i've dried off i'll take witch hazel and i'll put it one in like all the dark spots like my neck gets darker it, it does it hasn't gotten dark this pregnancy don't know why it's gotten a little bit dark but you can barely tell um on camera but I have had some areas that have gotten darker. So I'll get out the shower. I'll dry off. I'll get the witch hazel on my little pad. Where is it? <laughs> on my little <laughs> on my little reusable pads that you can wash. I'll link these two for you guys. And I'll just take it and I'll put it in the darker areas. I'll also go in the cracks and crevices because witch hazel really helps with odors. And then, you know, I'll put this to the side because it's done for the day. And then I'm good to go. Uh, I really feel like it helps which hazel is a lifesaver. I don't think everyone's hip to like using it in more than just like your face area, but it's clutch. And when you're pregnant, and if you're like me and you, you've gotten sweatier or you've gained weight and it's making you sweat or the baby's making you sweat, you just want to kind of like take all precautions to stay smelling as good as possible as much as you can. So witch hazel has helped me a ton. Okay, last in this category is going to be body butters or lotion or moisturization for your body <laughs> and I've been using um, essential healings body butters I literally love I love <laughs> I sound aggressive but I love these body butters I brought out my two favorite scents at the moment which is lemon pound cake and sandalwood and vanilla oh they're just delightful. <laughs> they smell so good and I love the texture of them. And I have like a real bad habit of like using too much of stuff and then like my clothes are getting ruined with like oily stains and all that kind of stuff. And this I don't have, like with the body butters I don't have that issue. So I love it. I love the consistency, a consistency of it. I love how moisturized I feel throughout the day because of them. So this isn't an Amazon product. This is actually run by a small black owned business, but I will link her entire website down below for you guys because she did her thing. <laughs> she did her thing with these body butters. Lastly, sorry, this is the actual last thing for hygiene and that's shaving. I know everybody apparently is not shaving. That's y'all choice. I, I need to. I feel clean when I shave and if I don't, I don't. So I need to shave and so I've been using um, these two products for shaving um, and I use it everywhere but they are specifically made to use in your private areas and they're amazing. They're both gels, very thick and creamy for this one. This is the first one that I found. Um, I found it at Target and then I think I found this one at Target too. Anyways, they make shaving a breeze. I don't get like razor bumps or I did get some ingrown hairs, but I think that was just because I was rushing to shave, you know, married life sometimes. And I just don't have complaints. So if you're looking for like a, a shave cream or a gel, or you're having any trouble with irritation, ingrowns, um, razor bumps, I would definitely recommend using 
these two. Um, I use them together, but I think that's me just being extra. You could definitely probably excel using one by itself, but now I'm used to it. <laughs> so <laughs> I've been using both. But yeah, that is all for hygiene. So we can move on to the next category. Oh, hold on. My daughter just woke up. <laughs> Are you ready for mommy to come get you? <laughs> okay she's so cute <laughs> she's on her uh, standing up in her crib okay i'm coming i'm gonna go grab amira and figure out a way to like sit her somewhere where she won't be running into this video <laughs> and then i will uh get back to you guys on the essentials I swear, once you hit like the 30 mark, your body just be betraying you, Loki. Okay. <laughs> Y'all don't watch? I don't even feel that big. Yes, I do. I feel big. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Since I'm getting up, <laughs> here is an unflattering bump update so you guys can see where we are. Yep. She just kicked me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me go get my other daughter. I'll be right back. <laughs> so essentials. <laughs> um, everyone knows, well, I believe you should know, when you get pregnant, the first thing you should start looking for is prenatals. So my favorite prenatals are right here. The, the care of prenatals. They're, you have to take three a day. Um, they're not the gel capsules. And honestly, I love them. I love them so much. I was getting them from Target um, every single month. I've used them my entire pregnancy until now when Target stopped selling them. And then I decided to give Ritual a, t a try. I'm almost done with Ritual. I feel like everybody who follows an influencer has seen these, but I'm just not impressed. Like, I, I, to give them credit, I never take them early on in the day. They said that's what really stops what I'm annoyed with, which is like the burping and feeling like it's floating in the back of my throat. <laughs> They said if I like take it earlier in the day, um, then I wouldn't have that issue. But also like the price point, it's $35 and I'm used to paying like 16 or 18 for the care of one that was sold in um, Target. So I'm a little cheap. I can be a little cheap <laughs> and I'm really just not like loving the experience of taking them that much to pay that much they do smell good i always love gel capsules but for some reason these just aren't impressing me but i can still order care of prenatals through their website is what i found out like i think two weeks ago so i'm going back to these babies <laughs> i really really love these and yeah these are my favorites it is three a day it doesn't have a really nice minty smell that ritual definitely does have i will give them that it smells good <laughs> but like it was just something about like these capsules that just did it for me. I, I enjoyed taking them. <laughs> Next, another big thing, another very important thing to do while you're pregnant is stay hydrated. If you've been a subscriber, if you've been on my channel long enough, then you know. <laughs> my first pregnancy, I was not trying to drink enough water. I was not committed to it. I did a very bad job, ended up passing out and needing an IV. <laughs> because I was that dehydrated. That has not happened and will not happen in this pregnancy because of this cup. I'm sure by now everybody knows, everybody has heard of or seen this cup and people probably think that it's hyped <laughs> and that it's like played out, but it's not. Oh my goodness, I love this cup. I have an iron flask. I used to love that, but it does not compare to this cup. It doesn't hold as much water. It doesn't fit in the car seat holder. It doesn't look so aesthetically pleasing. Like, look, look at it. <laughs> 
and I'm just obsessed. This holds 40 ounces of water. It keeps it cold, freezing cold, okay? Doesn't matter what degrees you're taking this cup into, it is going to keep your drink cold. So I absolutely love it. I love drinking out of it. I love that it has this handle. Um, it's not heavy. It does take some getting used to, I guess, but like, I don't know. My daughter is much heavier than this cup. So I guess it just doesn't phase me if it is heavy. But this is my favorite cup in the entire world. <laughs> and I want it in every color. Thank you. <laughs> Lastly, for essentials, this one is going to be like weird to mention, but I'm going to explain why. It's a pregnancy pillow. Now, do I think as soon as you get pregnant, you need to run out and go get a $50 pregnancy pillow? No, I don't. I did not start using a pregnancy pillow, which again, y'all will understand this in a second, <laughs> until my third trimester. I had one for my first baby, for Amara Grace, um, but we moved from Ohio and somehow I only ended up with one, <laughs> one section of the pillow. And it's like literally probably like this long and this wide. And I just started using that. At first I was just using like one of the decoration pillows, not the decoration, yeah, one of the decoration pillows on our bed I was just taking that and putting it in between my legs and that was kind of providing enough support to just like release pressure on my hip and stuff and then it just got hot it was very thick and I was like bro this is not this isn't it but then I remembered that I had that one little section not the whole pillow but that one little section and so I've been grabbing that pillow and it is like just the perfect width height all of that to relieve that pressure and it was from a pregnancy pillow you know so if i did have the full blown all around your body maybe i would be more comfortable but i just don't see i don't know now that i've made it this far i'm almost 33 weeks i'm just not like i'm not seeing it as like i think i can press through you know what i mean like if i get mad uncomfortable and i'm not gonna like get sleep that's different. <laughs> I just haven't been that uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. I put that pillow in between my legs. I'm good. Like, I'm good enough to sleep. I put it under the essentials because sleep is important. <laughs> Being comfortable is important. Maybe I should have put it under comfort. That, that probably would have helped my case. Moving on. <laughs> um, pregnancy pillow would be the last one in the essentials category. Now my bonus category, if you are a second time mom, it seems like two under two is like the trend <laughs> these days. Like mass people are having babies kind of back to back. I technically don't fall under two under two because Amara is exactly two. She turned two in May. So it's not two under two, but she's two and she's in that category so the last thing that i have is entertainment for your toddler um on those days where you just want to lay down those days where you're cramping those days where your belly is you know making you uncomfortable or you're tired i have entertainment that i really think your toddler will enjoy because my toddler does so the first thing is blocks um i ordered these blocks from target i'm not gonna go get them because if she hears them rattle she's gonna leave what she's doing right now to play with them and i need to finish this video so i got them from target they were on sale i think for seven dollars and i was just like oh perfect because i know she likes blocks um she didn't have any she was like playing with my nephew's blocks so i got her those and she literally she plays with them every single day and can for a long time. If I just put like a different chair or a different platform for her to build on, it's like a whole new set of blocks, okay? She's just, she loves them so much. And um, it's easy to clean up too, so blocks. <laughs> they are colorful. They're not aesthetically pleasing, but they will keep your baby entertained. Next, I have a dry erase board. Um, it is magnetic and it like magnetizes itself to the refrigerator so when i'm cooking or when i am really doing anything that like i don't i don't necessarily want to juggle too many things at that moment or if i just want to lay down i will 
show her like the dry erase board, get her little markers out and she will draw and she will erase. Like I'll give her paper towels to erase and she just has a ball and she can do that for some time too. It's all about just kind of like stalling and keeping her busy. And these are the kind of things that I prefer to keep her busy with, like stuff that she's doing with her hands versus like iPad. But we do use the iPad, so I'm gonna next bring up apps that I really like on the iPad. Sorry, I'm getting uncomfortable. <laughs> apps that I really like on the iPad that are educational. And the ones that like aren't like having those like ads that pop up all the time and that they're just like really annoying because then the child is just trying to go to stage six on the numbers thing and like it's telling you to pay three dollars like it's it's none of those. So those apps are I call Lucas and Ruby. <laughs> Basically as soon as you click the app you'll hear hi I'm Lucas and it's spelled L-U-C-A-S and the same thing with Ruby and that is how you know you got the right app because <laughs> they're they're free of ads and it really they're really educational things like she's she knows more things than i have taught her because of these apps like the other day she was telling me like oh that's a kangaroo and that's a giraffe and i was like i have never shown you a kangaroo or a giraffe i know it i know i haven't I know it. <laughs> and then also um, I recommend PBS Kids. I think that's one that you have to actually pay for but somehow we have it on our TV so sometimes I'll just put it on the TV and let her do her thing. And then I do have a couple like puzzle apps on my phone. Uh, nothing special. I just usually get the ones that are like three plus because I want my girl to be advanced and figure it out and she does really good with those. So <laughs> um, those are the apps that I recommend. Next we have Ooh, this is a long video. I'm sorry, y'all. But I really feel like this is helpful. <laughs> but um, shows that I like her watching, Sesame Street, Doc McStuffins, um, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, um, Coco Melon. I love those shows. Coco Melon, there was like this thing going on on Facebook where they were saying like, your child won't talk. My girl talks a lot. <laughs> a, a whole lot. Okay. And she speaks very well. And Honestly, she hasn't had that much Coco Melon time, but some days she does watch Coco Melon, you know, for some time, <laughs> you know, a, a good a good amount, and it does not do anything because I encourage her talking, I make her explain things, and yeah, I w I'm not even gonna go down that route. Just know those are the shows <laughs> that I like. Uh, Doc McStuffins, I like. If you give him a cookie, I like. Some of them do make her a little bit whiny and usually I know that's when I just need to pull back and like we need to reduce the screen time and yeah that's it none of them are like making her have tantrums or any of those things so we're good there so y'all it was a pretty lengthy video but hopefully you got so much out of it you maybe found some products that you want to try or that you're using and you agree with me that they are bomb um i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe if you're not a part of the family because i've decided this is going to be a mom channel i'm going to share everything mom so if you want to see more of those things and my second trimester update and what's in my hospital bag and what i'm using for baby number two that i didn't use for baby number one or however that goes all of the mommy content <laughs> just subscribe make sure to comment um anything suggestions that you think i should try yeah that's it you guys i hope that you enjoyed it i feel like i said that already but i've been talking in front of this camera for so long maybe i'm just babbling so i will end it here thank you so much for watching bye